What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. One of the big features that Steve Jobs and Apple touted with the new MacBook Air was its instant on capabilities. So I wanted to sort of put that to the test and demonstrate it and I'm going to compare it with a first generation MacBook and see if there really are any differences. Uh, the instant on that the MacBook Air utilizes uh, comes from its flash memory. They actually took the flash modules out of the container and actually put them directly on the motherboard, uh, supposedly making for a bit of power saving and weight speeds. So we'll see if that really is true. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's check out the specs of these two guys. This is an older computer and certainly uh, has been used a little bit more. So we'll check out about this Mac and sort of review what we have here. 1.4 uh, gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, two gigabytes of RAM on the MacBook Air. On the MacBook, we have 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, two gigs of RAM. So uh, noticeably faster here speed-wise. Let's go ahead and uh, close the lids on both of these and we'll put them to sleep naturally and then we'll sort of force the issue. So put that guy to sleep and put this guy to sleep and give them a second to sort of get into their uh, hibernation mode. You can also see the size difference here, uh, quite a bit smaller. Uh, and the thinness is really impressive. All right, so let's start with the MacBook Air. Let's go ahead and open it up. And it's on, let's see if it's connected to the internet. Let's just try going to a website. So there's Apple, connected to the internet right away. So that was pretty quick. Let's go ahead and see if the MacBook does the same thing. Go ahead and open that up. Pretty quick. Let's go ahead and check out Firefox and connect to the internet as well. Uh, so as far as being a huge feature, this thing turns on instantly like it would on a iPhone or an iPad, not really seeing it. Uh, but maybe the computers didn't really go to sleep. Maybe we have some weird power mode setting that wasn't a fair test. Let's go ahead and put both of these to sleep. So we'll go to the Apple menu and I'll hit sleep on the MacBook Air and I will hit sleep here on the MacBook and both of them will take a nap. Uh, now one of the differences to note between sort of the sleep uh, mechanisms on both computers that the MacBook Air sips power uh, a little bit uh, better than supposedly at least uh, the MacBooks. We might haven't had this long enough to really test, but they say you can get almost uh, 30 days worth of battery life with this in this heavy hibernation mode. And certainly that's not the case uh, with the MacBook line. So they are both uh, sleeping. You can probably hear them snoring. Uh, let's power both of them on and see if things are different. So I'll hit the buttons at the same time. And we'll see if they both uh, kick on. So the MacBook Air came on a little bit sooner. Let's see if it's connected to the internet. It is. Let's see if this is connected to the internet. It is as well. So not really seeing the huge advantage uh, of this instant on. Let's try a boot up time. See if there's any sort of difference here uh, with boot up speeds. This computer's MacBook has been used for a little while, had a fresh install. Uh, about eight months ago, but certainly has computer programs on it and stuff is on there. So it might not be the fairest comparison of a brand new MacBook versus a brand new MacBook Air, but it's what we got, so we're gonna work with it. Let's go ahead and quit everything and we'll shut them down. And actually we'll try shutdown test too and we'll try boot up tests and we'll see if we've any sort of difference between them. So shut down at the same time, go ahead and hit uh, the enter key. And they're off to the races, I guess. Install and shut down. Well, that wasn't fair. Once we can install updates, let's just shut it down. All right, so let's try a boot up test and see if we can actually get some fair results that way. Let's go ahead and hit power on both and see if we have any sort of speed difference between the MacBook Air. It really came on, I came to life a little bit sooner. It's probably a uh, reminiscent and, and showing the solid state memory that it has certainly boots a little bit quicker doesn't have to spin a hard drive or spin a platter or find the operating system uh, and that booted up actually very 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 quickly it actually booted up faster than my iMac with a solid state drive so from a boot up standpoint uh, MacBook Air is clearly a speed increase um, you know you're not going to get necessarily an apples to apples comparison here uh, when you're looking at a MacBook with a standard spinning hard drive versus a MacBook Air um, Video input times, for example, when you're, if you edit a lot of video, are going to be much faster on the MacBook Air despite the slower processor uh, because of that solid state drive. So something to, uh, I think, definitely keep in mind. So whether or not it's going to be worth it to you is going to be yet to be seen. I'll put these things through a ton more tests. Wanted to give you guys just a bit of a demonstration of the boot up and that instant on. 
I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check out the website for all your MacBook Air news. And check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash John4Lakers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.